anytime I interview somebody, no matter who they are, hewn from pop culture, I want to know if they have some hidden geek credentials. Almost everybody does. They just don't admit to it in any other interview because they, they don't get any street cred for doing so. But on Star Talk, that's where the street cred is found. <laughs> so I had to I check with Larry Wilmore to see what is he at. Let's check it out. Do you count yourself a member of the geek community? I am, but in different ways that might surprise you. Really? Mm -hmm. So give me an example. Like I'm, I'm a magician. I do sleight of hand magic. Magicians do know how to uh, demythologize and demystify in the same way that uh, someone of your ilk might. That scientist would. That's yes, what I'm saying. because you right. have information that most people don't have. Right. On purpose. Correct. Withheld from. Exactly. And, we, and, you, and, and, and in fact, that's one of the famous edicts from Arthur C. Clarke. There you go. Any sufficiently advanced technology. Yes. It's right, I know. Indistinguishable from magic. That's exactly right. And a lot of a lot of early magic was technology, and a lot of uh, techniques that magicians uh, used in the early days, even from things like mirrors or technological. Well, good. I mean, that's, that's an important. That's yeah. really important geek cred. Exactly. Thank you very much. Totally yeah. there. I always uh, to prove it. Uh, we'll carry a deck of cards. With I you? always always have a deck of cards. I think this this proves the geek cred. Is it, is, is it a legit go. deck? Yeah, it's an old deck. For me. It's all beaten up. That's what any magician would say. Yeah, it's a regular deck. <laughs> it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I always have these with me because, you know, I'm always uh, like maybe practicing that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, that well, that's nice. That, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. You know, Let me show you the one I did. I got one here. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I, I learned how to cut with one hand. Nice. A knife. Oh, right. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. I'll do that. Yep. Very good. Oh, okay. very good. That's so called look. a Charlie A cut, by the way. Charlie A? Uh huh. That's what it's called. That'll I'll show you a, a different version of it, too. Uh -huh. I don't know if the camera can see me there. Yeah, I got you coming from here. See, if you cover like that, you know, that's the uh, Six of Hearts, and you lift like that. See, it becomes the uh, Joker. I don't know how it's done, you know. It's oh, just, wait, it's just not, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. What happened? <laughs> Something happened there. But that Joker, when you take it back and you just spin around, that becomes a Six. So I don't know. Cards just change like this. Yeah, it's, it's just, just on you. You have no. It just happens like that. You don't like even that. understand like, it. Right. Right? I don't know how it works. So there you go. Another way to cut. All that yeah. kind of stuff. Here's a, here's a fun way to cut too. That's a good one handed cut. Ooh, there you yeah, go. That's what they do at the poker table. You exactly. Because exactly. those are the guys that flip the chips. Yeah, you don't want to do this stuff at the poker table, by the way. It's, it's how you're going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs>